Yeah, what do you got? Canada. <laughs> Just in general? Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, uh, yeah, you, right there. Austin! That was not where my hand was pointing at all. <laughs> Unless, are you a ventriloquist, sir? <laughs> No, not at all. Bummer. Um, okay, what do you got? Danny Tanner versus Uncle Joey versus Uncle Jesse in a fist fight. Ooh. Wow. No way. Ooh. Sit down, all y'all. Y'all just got served. <laughs> Danny Tanner versus Uncle Jesse versus Uncle, uh, what's the other one, Stan? Joey. Joey. Sorry. Sorry. Jesus Christ. A bunch of fucking Gen Wires getting all up in you here. God damn. My parents wouldn't let me watch Full House. They would, yeah, no, I, I really, I really missed out. Um, they, they would just make fun of me if I tried to watch anything like Hey Dude or Full House. They'd be like, "What are you watching there?" <laughs> and I'd be like, uh, "Nothing," and like change it to Turner Classic Movies really quick. And now I have an extensive working knowledge of Cary Grant movies, and I don't know the characters from Full House. Um, what's that? Hey Dude's awesome. Hey dude is awesome. Dude, wow. <laughs> Alright, last one for you because you're so excited about Hey Dude. Japanese horror films. And all of them? <laughs> and just in general. Okay, so Japanese horror films. Um, uh, okay, let's review. Hold Tanner. on. Japanese horror films. Tanner versus Joey versus Jesse. Uh, Canada. Just Austin. in general. I'm not rapping Austin. about Austin. <laughs> I'm going to rap about Austin when I go to Austin. I, I'll tell you what, I'll rap about Austin. Tacos, greatest city in the world. Fucking beer, the end. Wow. <laughs> that was my Austin freestyle. One day I hope to be buried there. Fantastic, the end. Awesome. Okay, so, um, so let's review. Uh, Tanner vs. Joey for Jesse, Canada. Japanese horror movies. Um, uh, shark bites. Which sweater vests. Sweater, sweater vests. Vest. And then there was one more, right? Josh, Josh, Josh Hamilton's <laughs> impending relapse. Ginger <laughs> ale. It's already happened, it's just a secret? Oh wow, really? God, y'all are some cold-blooded motherfuckers up here. That poor dude, his whole team got together and sprayed him with ginger ale because his fucking flame tattoos were too much. And Alright, fuck it. You guys got him next year! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So do you guys. So, uh, yeah, for those of you who don't know anything about baseball or don't care about baseball, Sorry. <laughs> um, I'm gonna need uh, a, a little bit more vocals in my monitor. Go Rangers! Go <laughs> We're gonna wrap over this here. This is a beat by a guy named uh, Blockhead. It's really good. So let's review. Sweater vests, Tanner vs. Joey vs. Jesse, Canada, Shark Bites, Josh Hamilton's impending uh, relapse. And is that all of them? What was that last one? Sweater vests. Sweater vests. Sweater vests. The year is 2010, in a few months, friend, it'll finally, finally call itself done and come to an end. I am calling it even now. 2011 is where I stop dressing down and start dressing like an adult child. You may notice my hair has finally combed back and I'm not wearing a t-shirt and fucking jeans and tennis shoes when I rap. I try to dress up and act like an adult, but still asking if I can sleep on your cash or your fucking cup. This is all that I need to get by. If I'm gonna live like a fucking dirtbag, I better dress like a millionaire for the rest of my life. Cause I ain't living off a of cheap beer and whiskey shots, just the great whites from the fruit snack shark bite, so that's enough. That's all I need to get by. Every once in a while some sports centers had a cheap hotel ride because I gotta catch up on the Josh Hamilton's impending relapse because sports centers just become a gossip fucking TMZ track. Because there's no sports to cover for fucking 24 hours, so we gotta cover every motherfucker and all of his drug addictions problems and what white he's currently hitting and what white he's currently not sexing with him. And that's the way that it goes. You watch ESPN until your fucking eyes bleed, finally overdose. Every time I go home and visit my family in Florida, I sit up on the couch and watch Sports Center. It's embarrassing. See, I get so embarrassed for the hours that I spend in the day watching Sports Center PTI around the Horn Bay because I like to keep up on all the gossip crap. There's no sports in that. It's just my version of celebrity shit. So while I make fun of every chick that I know for checking TMZ over and fucking over till they overdose, I am sitting here and texting my friend Nob about how Josh Hamilton's gonna get drunk as fucking fuck. And eventually you'll find him in the corner of a bar. Inside a Pantera strip club, the clubhouse in Dallas, y'all And he'll be tying off With two strippers passed out in front of his lap And him fuck just nodding off And that's me, I'll be sitting to the TV Twittering all week about baseball easy And while all y'all are 
were rapping about Kim Kardashian's action and her sex tape that happened between her and Kanye Gaston. I'll be sitting there and overdosing, exploding, talking about fucking Brett Favre's dick quotient and how many times his dick appeared on the internet. See, that dude is fucking 65 years and he still gets a wreck, so respect. Cause if I can get that hard when I'm fucking getting hit down after 20 fucking yards, man, I'll be the boss of all bosses and my fucking Southern Baptist wife will have to burn crosses to get me back to her house. No goddamn doubt. So the rest of his life, Brett Favre is sleeping on the couch. And I know every fucking detail about his balls because I'm fucking addicted to sports, dog. It's really fucking gross and I'm really sorry this is the way that it happens, yo. A lot of people, they obsess on Brangelina, but I obsess on Josh Hamilton's addiction feelings. This is the way that it goes for me to the day that I die. Even though I dress like Indy Archie Hipster Ride, wearing sweater vest and fucking Bentley bow tie, I'm still addicted to sports figures all my life. Cause I'm that same kid, 11 years old in fact, wearing fucking winter camo, wishing I had a gun to pack, and watching fucking ESPN every day, checking all the dates and prices on my face all hurts, babe. I didn't waste my time messing for, for the upper decks. All that upper deck hologram was a wasted shit. I only collected cards from the 70s and back, and now they're just worthless piles of paper crap. So throw them, leave them back in the trash. 2011 is the future, 2010 is past. I'm done dressing like a hobo. Now I'm dressing like a fucking rich millionaire from fucking 1924, yo. And this is my plan. Fucking overcoats like I look like a Hasidic Jewish man without the curly shoes, I guess. And this is me trying to make the best of what I got. I don't know who the fuck I am, but I'm happy with where I'm at. There's another topic I'm supposed to hit. Josh Hamilton just got me real nice. And there was this one, this. And then the last one, Full House and Japanese Horror Flicks. Oh shit, I got this all for you quick. See, John Stamos doesn't need to work. That guy gets so much goddamn fucking money and pussy gets perverse. And so the rest of those guys, they scrunch in to survive. So all the Full House people, they go on a game show right. What they think is a game show, not a game show. In fact, they want the Tokyo to go, but they get with something else in fact. This is not a game show, but a horror flick. On Tsukishi, the killer, slid across the lips. And this is them sitting there in fist fight. It ain't actually John Stamos, not at all, right? It's just Emilio Estevez with his hair dyed black and shit. Trying to look like John Stamos, extra credit quick. Cause he ain't made bucks in years. And if Emilio dies, they'll bring in Charlie Shane for free beers. Or a fucking stomped on eight ball and a cheap hooker or playboy model, y'all. Come here, Charlie, come quick. I am laying a break, come trail of coke for you to sniff. And you can chase it all the way to Tokyo with it, and you can fight DJ Tanner and fucking Uncle Joey shit. Because Stamos is waiting, playing drums for the Beach Boys, and that's a true statement. He don't need your fist fights because the house is fucking full and he left it last night.